weeks as we brace for triple digit temps. Not everyone is planning to hunker down somewhere cool. No, several major outdoor events are still going on as planned despite that extreme heat. CBS 13's Shante Passmore joining us live from. It's easy to spot catastrophic flood damage, but it is also easy to find hard workers with a strong spirit determined to heal a wounded community. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us two of the hardest hit areas. What's happening in middle America though? We talk about the core a lot. And it's kind of interesting when you strip out, you know, food and energy, that's the very thing that most people are paying more for. Exactly. And while the number warm up underway with inland parts of the Bay Area set to hit triple digits by the weekend, that has state officials urging people to get ready. KTVU's Tom Baker monitored a meeting today with California's Office of Emergency. Tonight, amid growing tensions with China, we're with American forces in the Pacific, where General Mike Minahan is preparing his airmen for a mission he's warned could come soon. Do you Ron DeSantis, who's really been like floundering in recent weeks after declaring a bid for president, uh, or his presidential run, I should say, just two months ago, might be losing his most power. And now we bring you promising news in the battle against rising prices as the US inflation rate takes a significant dip hitting a more than two year low. This development could potentially mark a turning point. In the FBI refused to comment, resulting in social media companies suppression of this story. And as a result, millions, millions of our fellow citizens did not hear this story prior to the November 3rd. More than 100 million Americans were under heat alerts Wednesday with feels like temperatures in the triple digits reported in more than a dozen states. Now the heat is especially bad in Arizona. I will totally obliterate the deep state. We will get rid of it. We were doing a good job. We will get rid of it. Before I even arrive at the Oval Office shortly.